I'm Beth Bolhoffer, your PQD, and today I have four points on how to get organized and run an amazing virtual meeting. Imagine you're a guest. You've never been to Toastmasters before. You click on the Zoom link, you join, and all of a sudden you see seven to 10 people saying things like, who's a Toastmaster today? Excuse me, can I be the timer? I would like to be the table topics master. Now this is chaos. Even when we walked into a regular meeting back in the old days when we used to meet in person, it was chaos if people were trying to figure out who's doing what. I highly recommend that even though I recommended before not to do it, with a virtual meeting, it's even more critical to get organized. Let's talk about the four ways to get organized. Number one, as VPE, you must make sure the Toastmaster and the speaker roles are filled a week and a half before at the very least one week before. I highly recommend that at the end of the meeting, or maybe even at the beginning, now let's do the end, ask for the following. We don't have a table, to we don't have a Toastmaster for next week. Who would like to volunteer? And then you don't let people leave until you have gotten one. And you also say, we still have a speaker available next week. Speaker slot, who wants to be a speaker? Make sure you have those critical roles filled before you let everyone off the meeting. This means you have to be organized and you have to end a few minutes early so you have that time to recruit those speaker slots and Toastmaster slots. Next, the Toastmaster needs to get to action immediately and fill up the rest of the roles. They could do it on the meeting before everyone drops or they can send emails. I highly recommend the phone, texting, use those methods of communication that we have to rely on now that we're all digital. Third, send out the agenda before the meeting. I recommend 12 hours. This way, the players at home can know what's going on. Next, have the speakers reach out to the evaluators. A lot of times what we used to do is we take our manual or our printed file from Pathways and we said, Okay, Mr. Evaluator, here's my speaking objectives. And what I'm looking for is to make sure that I use more humor or make some more eye contact, whatever that personal goal was. Now I recommend that as using Pathways, you download the PDF and you email it to your evaluator. Also, put a few notes. I would like to work on using eye contact with the camera versus looking at my picture. I would like to make sure my lighting is good whatever those objectives are for your speech. So let me recap what I covered today to make an amazing meeting, especially for your members and any guests that show up. One, get organized. Don't leave your meeting until next week's meeting has a Toastmaster and your speakers. Next, Toastmaster, recruit all your members a week ahead of time for all your functionary roles. Make sure everything is filled up. There's always last minute cancellations, but at least try to get everything filled up a week ahead of time. Next, make sure you send out the agenda. People don't know what's going on if they don't have the agenda. So make sure you email it out 12 hours before. And fourth, make sure that your speakers and evaluators are communicating by email. And after the speaker is finished, the evaluator can email that PDF back or write their comments in the email. Looking forward to the next time. Have a wonderful afternoon.